<laughs> that was to remind me to take my menstruation. Do you need pills. to take a trip to the cafe? Yeah. <laughs> the cafe. I'm waiting here to meet the host with no name. I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm being one of those assholes that's meeting you for tea. Is this one of those? And things, I'm on your phone. Is this one of those? Things or not your phone, but my phone. This is one of those things where we talk like like a real podcast, like we're both <laughs> across the bar. So I'm waiting here on this side of the bar for him to show up, and he. So there I was. I walk into the bar, aka Denny's, waiting for oh so fresh. And I glance down the bar. A glance. And what do I see? A menace, not named Dennis, but to society. Oh my god! I did watch that last week. <laughs> menace to society. And not to sobriety, because you know damn well that we get down around here. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host with no name. <laughs> My name is Oso oh Fresh. You know I like to get it on. Transform like Decepticons. I can auto in your bot, because this shit is hot tonight. <laughs> we are premium. <laughs> this is a platinum ass shit. I got the cameras on. Alexa, <laughs> lounge on. <laughs> I'm the bitch that won't work today. <laughs> Alexa, lounge on. How do you fuck this up? While we're waiting for it, while we're waiting for Alexa to get her life together, hit us up 503-776-0167. You are the bitch behind the curtain. You are not working. Alexa, get this house clean, lounge bitch. on. She oh, hates, if, she hates if you. If I say it to her, yeah. I gotta walk over here. You might have to backhand her. Where's that baby powder? Alexa, lounge on. Autobots, oh, yeah. roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's you hate when you're doing your radio show and you gotta discipline your woman. <laughs> that's you just hate that. If I mean, you just like, hate when you gotta step behind the curtain and go yell at your bitch. If you, <laughs> if you would like me or myself to verbally discipline you or your woman, you can hit us up, 503-776-0167, or, oh. or donate on our Patreon. We'll give you a nice yeah. little shout-out with some curse yeah, words. fuck you, pay us. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash The Hype Podcast. It is good times. It is good times to be here because I, I am returning from a hell of a weekend. A hell of a weekend? A hell of a weekend. I get an extra day because we do this Tuesdays. That's fair. What did you do this weekend? Anything exciting? I did the closest thing I've ever done to DJing in the last three years. It was exciting. Shut the fuck it up. It was exciting. Are you, wait, 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 there wait, scantily, wait, wait, wait. There were scantily clad women. Hang on. There were people hang on, cheering. Hang on. Hang on. Don't, don't give away too much. I got to ask you this very important question. Are my sunglasses fogging up? Yes, they are. Are you, now, does that mean you're excited about my story? I, that means I'm getting hot and sweaty under these neon lights, baby. Woo! So, yeah, whee! I hope you brought you ones. You don't want to see me sweaty. It's fine. Now, let me, uh, let me, let me ask you: um, I, I Is don't... Oso considering going back to a life of DJ? No, that's not even a question. I just went and did some shit, man. No, God, it's, what, 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 did like, you, what did as, you do? Like, as a convict, if he wants to go back to crime, no, it's not going to happen. What, what did, what did you do? Did you do like a wedding, or did you do? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, Hang on. Let me guess. Let me guess. You did <laughs> a wedding. Fuck you. you <laughs> <laughs> I don't do fucking weddings. <laughs> you did. Let's see. It's it's May. First week of May. Yeah. You did like a spring dance at a high school, didn't you? Fuck them too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Were you on a stage? <laughs> I was on a stage. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. I was on a stage. Okay. We're we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Um, was there a poll on this stage? There was not a pole on the stage. There, uh, there was a couple rims in the room, but there was no pole. <laughs> okay, okay, that leads me to believe one of two things: either a gay sex dungeon or a basketball game. We won't. We won't. I was at a basketball game. Okay, I see. <laughs> it wasn't that kind of weekend. <laughs> okay, obviously it wasn't the Portland Trailblazers because you know they're not playing basketball. But right hey, now. nice blazer shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I do. If, you, I if you were donating on Patreon, you have access to this, so you can see they has a nice blazer shirt on. Because I like to describe things, but you know what's better than a description? You paying some motherfucking money and looking at it. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> and if you uh, did donate to Patreon, you saw what I just did with my chest just now. And, and if you you did donate to Patreon. You saw I just missed the button when I tried to do it there. I almost okay. knocked the iPad off okay. the table. So, so we're almost through this here. We we know through. that he was at a basketball game. I was. He was on a stage. It was not the Blazers. Okay. It was not the Portland Fire because I don't think they yeah. existed. No, no, no. You know, it was a college you know, game. You know, no, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's talk about the Portland Fire. Okay. 
The only people who go to see WNBA games and women's basketball games are men who like fundamental basketball. Women do not want to see women play basketball. You women, mean, women are there for the slam, motherfucking dunk, and the bitches can't dunk. And you know what they told them? We will, we will lower the rim for you. They said we will. They said we, even Shaquille O'Neal said, you, you know, why don't we drop the rim down a foot? And then you guys could just slam dunk and your game would be exciting. They're like, no, no, we don't want that advantage. We'll keep burning bras, bitches. <laughs> well, now, I this leads me to one more question okay. before before we digress back into your weekend adventure. Does anyone go to like WNBA games to hook up with chicks? Is that has that ever been a thing? Because if not, I think I'm gonna start that. There, trend. There, there are just grown men that used to coach basketball teams <laughs> at a WNBA game. That is that's all it. that's there. That's, that's, it. that's there. Grown, <laughs> grown men who missed their prime you, and little kids. You can hey you you know what you can send me footage and show me a hot woman at a WNBA game. <laughs> because I don't think it exists. <laughs> Dude, now let me let me let me transition. You know, you, you know, you know. Let me transition you know what real you can quick? see at a WNBA game? <laughs> what unicorns? Because you're not seeing any hot bitches there. <laughs> I will say this though: if we transition that to a soccer game, you're seeing thick bitches all day. Oh, a soccer game! Oh my god, they do support themselves at soccer games. Woo! Yeah, that is true. Holy shit! But I can't go down there and watch an unorganized sport. <laughs> well, I, wish, I mean, maybe it's because I get bad tickets. Because every time I go to a soccer game, it looks like somebody just dropped the ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers just running around. <laughs> they don't even know what's going on. He, he doesn't they, understand soccer and then, is why. And then they only score a couple points. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me, I think the rules are fucking wrong. For all that fucking running around, <laughs> I need 10 points. Let me, I let mean, me. when you're playing football, you make it all the way down the field. You get six. These motherfuckers run up and down the field four, five, 30 times and don't score. When they do score, they need 10 points. <laughs> that, would, that would be kind of dumb. That, that, would, that would make the game a lot better. <laughs> let me th- hey, take out the penalty kicks. Let me, let me, out, uh, let me, th- let me take throw out something. the sudden death. I'm going to plant a seed in your mind. That way, if this ever happens, you notify me immediately. Okay. If you ever get invited to do a women's softball game, them bitches are fine as fuck, too. There's some good work in women's softball. I have to say, I, I you know, I, I don't Coll- I, collegiate softball uh-huh. and above. I don't, you know, I not well, not not that Dollar Tree warehouse fucking co-ed softball bullshit. I don't want any of that employee work. None of that. None of them fifty year old bitches trying to play kickball. None of that. Hey, there's some good work in that. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch is vested. <laughs> She's got a 401k. <laughs> I might just hit a home run. <laughs> so what? So where did you? The Cadillac needs rims. <laughs> it needs rims. <laughs> So where did you do this event then? So I was at uh, Clark College, which is our local community college. You you did the fucking penguins? The Clark no, College? No, 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 no. They were called the Volcano. Oh, no, the, the Vancouver the Volcanoes. The Vancouver Volcanoes? Holy shit. They're like I wanted to call the Avalanche. They're still around? I didn't even know those fucking people were still around. You know what? There was only about 20 of us that knew they were still the fuck around. <laughs> and they were all at the game. And the mayor was there. Holy shit. Yeah, the mayor was there. He she, was just there for the cheerleaders. The, the mayor is a woman. I just to say. She's just there for the cheerleaders. Yeah. She, <laughs> I guess. She just, she's like, I'm here for the bitches and the drink. Thank yeah. you very much. Wait, were I, they, I'm the mayor. Hang on, hang on. Were there bitches and drinks? Uh, I don't think they served alcohol. Oh, that's lame. If they did, I would have went. There were cheerleaders. You, uh, you running into fine cheerleaders you might want to hook me up with? Not that I want to hook you up with. Oh, come, what do you mean? You trying to keep them all for yourself? I mean, do you want to compete with basketball players? Because you know, <laughs> you know the basketball players got first pickings on the cheerleaders. I might be a little too emotionally fragile for that. <laughs> I think you were too <laughs> fragile for that. Hey, fuck you. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, hey, not hey, that you know, fragile. I mean, because, I mean, I mean really. I mean, your shit, your shit's like fucking porcelain. Y'all need you to get your heart broken. <laughs> well, I mean, you... Hey, who... Who does not die a little bit inside knowing that they're, they're fucking behind a six foot eight man? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, who does not feel a little bit intimidated knowing they fucking behind a motherfucker that's a full arm's length taller than you? <laughs> a part of me does die inside when I realize she has to step up on a step stool to do doggy style. You know? <laughs> and, and you know what? And the thing is. 
You can't send her out on loan to that motherfucker because she ain't gonna come back the same. <laughs> well, we, I'll I mean, tell you this. Your love ain't never gonna be the same. I mean, it just the simple fact that a man can slam dunk, that's intimidating to me. Fuck, I can't slam dunk. I can dunk. I can't dunk. I'm not, I'm not seven feet we, tall. We don't share women either. Yeah. So it ain't a fucking problem. But, I mean, yeah, yeah. If, if, I'm dating, if I'm dating a woman, never tell me that you dated a guy that can slam dunk. It's over. <laughs> My heart is broken right there. I can't, I, can't, what, I can't be second back. I can't be second back. Fuck yeah. You tell me you dated a man that can slam dunk, I'm fucking dying inside. I, I will never, ever be that man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> second best of rest. I'm oh, second best of rest of our whole fucking lives. Who are we supposed to have? Shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I mean, I just feel like I just, I feel like I just beat, we can't have a life together. I feel like I just beat that motherfucker to the porch. That's what it was. <laughs> could have been him, could have been you. Don't make no never mind. Shit. If I had to have, if I had to play that motherfucker one on one basketball for your hand in love, I'm fucked. He's gonna duck on me and take my bitch. This is not acceptable behavior. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel about just basketball saying, players. Just saying. Hey, I did have a good time with the volcanoes. <laughs> is, is there anything else? Is there anything else that oh, oh so fresh is like just out of order when it comes to <laughs> like, like? Is there a checklist? Like, if a girl comes in and she's like, "Yeah, man, I really hate vanilla hey, ice cream." Are you like, "Bitch, get out! You're you know, done." I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sprinkle these along episodes, but yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know if, if you've been with that basketball dunker, keep it over there. Cause fuck, can't be second best to shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you one, one of the thing that gets me about ladies and Vancouver volcanoes, ladies. If you're listening, don't be, don't be too political. Okay, I get enough politics all the fucking time hanging out with this motherfucker. Hey, I, I like politics a little bit. Well, no, 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 but but you and I have good conversations. And we can laugh and have a good time, like with the all the it's, bullshit. It's kind, of, it's kind of a one way street. No, I have a conversation. You just happen to be here and interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> you have it. You have me something. Something you 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 come up with an opinion that you found scri- scribbled on a piece of paper and crayon before you walk in here. No, I, no, I don't. I heard this I on pull, the internet. I pulled them. I, I pulled it off this. a bar napkin when I'm fucking drinking. This myself is the same to motherfucker sleep. said. I heard this on the internet, but then will tell me I can't quote the internet at all. <laughs> in the see, same fuck see, show. Now he's acting like Joe Biden losing his fucking mind here. Hey, hey, this hey, is why. Hey, they, hey, shut the fuck up. They're listening to the show. You have to tell them what I'm acting like. <laughs> what do you think I'm acting like? Let them form their own fucking opinion. God damn it. Hey, make sure you hit us up on Patreon, patreon.com slash the hype podcast. You can see that I am looking at you right now. And I hopefully I look like an African Ethiopia that really needs something. So go ahead. And don't stare too hard back. We are all the so world. Fr- at, so fresh because he we might impregnate you with his eyes. Now there's no, there's, there will be no impregnation. You hear this Roe v. Wade thing? They might they might overturn Roe v. Wade. I mean, who cares? You, you know, who cares? You know how many times we mentioned trips to the fucking clinic <laughs> up on this motherfucking show? <laughs> for is, for things is, other than penicillin, we don't mention we don't mention dropping a bitch off at the clinic more than going to Popeyes <laughs> up on this show. And that's a feat. <laughs> yeah, that is that is a feat because I love that chicken from Popeyes. <laughs> What is the big deal with this Roe v. Wade shit? Because there would anyway? be a time I would have beat you down for a chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you know they just came out with the buffalo spicy. Make sure you get it. It's no, buffalo no, no, no. spicy. No, no, no. Come, were, come back to earth. What? Is, what's the big deal about it, this Roe v. Wade it, it, bullshit? It was, it's chicken before ass. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we done with the chicken. Let's talk about getting ass. Go. <laughs> in, this, in this instance, it definitely is chicken before the egg. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, so what's the the big deal of this Roe v. Wade. This is a state's rights thing anyway. This should not be a fucking big government bullshit fucking see, come up. See, I don't understand the full ramifications. Well, I'm going to tell you where I stand on Roe v. Wade. Fuck that shit. That shit didn't do shit for me. I mean, shit. You're still paying for it anyway. I, I'm still, I, was, I mean, shit. If the motherfucker worked, I wouldn't be getting shit taken out of my check all the time fucking now. How did Roe v. Wade work for me? Because when I wanted to use my Roe v. Wade what, right, the motherfucker was like, nah, nah, What nah. What has Roe done for me lately? Yeah, what has Roe done for me lately? 
<laughs> shit. I mean, a motherfucker like me couldn't get no relief till the Plan B came out. <laughs> let me let me let me just uh, before I give you my position on this, let me tell you, I'm not worried about Roe v. Wade. I'm r- worried about Roe D. Wade. Have you seen what that kid's doing to his child? Holy fuck! So that's a whole nother thing. That's a, uh, see. Dwayne Wade <laughs> is a basketball player. If you're player. listening, Dwayne. Dwayne Wade is a basketball player. He doesn't watch the show. You don't know that. I don't know. He might be busy fucking Gabrielle Union, but no, he no, might be no. busy saying, hold on, baby, I'm listening so to if the listen, podcast. So if, if he listens to the show, I fuck Gabrielle Union <laughs> all the time. If he listens to the show, he's going to call in. What's the number again? 503-776-0167. Do you honestly did you, think did that? You, did, you, did you hear me say that, Dwayne Wade? Did you, hear my, did you hear the number? Give him the number one more time. 503-776-0167. And that hey, one statement, hey, that hey, one statement's hey, going to get him. If you, after, if, after three if, NBA if, championships... If, 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 if you got a problem, I fuck her all the time. Call the number or donate on, on, on Patreon. No, where it fucks shit up. I mean, for me, like, even though it was in effect, I was rightless. You get a woman pregnant, it ain't on you. It ain't you. Dude. You, you you get you get no say, my friend. She if she wants if if she, if she is accepting that that bus ticket to the clinic because sometimes it's only worth a bus ticket. If you if she accepting the bus to the goddamn clinic, then fuck yeah. That's you guys working. thought I say some fucked up shit. That's working in your favor. <laughs> but if, if 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 this motherfucker say no, I'm keeping the baby. No, that's you. So yeah. where where Roe v. Wade work for me? I mean, what am I supposed to be cheering? Listen, what? I mean, I'm supposed to listen. I, Roe v. The, well, my this, luck, the bitch was gonna keep it anyway. This is where we all get it wrong. <laughs> Roe v. Wade's not even about women. It's not. What's wrong? Well? It's about doctors. They should fucking put the laws in place against the doctors. Fuck all this male and female bullshit, right? The hey, doctors. No, no, no. Hey, yeah, I, no. I'm really into that out. male and female bullshit. Love, Hear love, me out. love the male and female bullshit. <laughs> I, I, I know you done had your heart broken. <laughs> Hopefully, it wasn't your asshole too. <laughs> Hear me out. No, no, it's okay if it was your asshole too. I'm Hear sorry. me out. We're it's, not that kind of show. It's <laughs> <laughs> we love everybody. Our bed's way huge, but we don't sleep together. <laughs> no, we're like Batman and, uh, uh, <laughs> and, and Dick Ward. <laughs> that motherfucker's name was Dick Ward, wasn't it? <laughs> wow, he just made it weird. So it's about the doctors, dude, right? If they fucking put thresholds on the doctors, like you get a panel of doctors. They have to decide based on science. Right after they decide which toothpaste is best for me, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? Put Dr. Fauci in charge of it. He's used to telling you what you can and can't do with yourself. It'll all work out. But you panel some fucking doctors. If I got to see Dr. Fauci again. Go ahead. Panel these doctors. Okay. Make them use science, certain parameters, right? To decide. <laughs> what science? Yeah, yeah. What science? <laughs> on when a human life is a human life, right? They all have to agree unanimously. And yeah. then they anonymously vote. Anonymously. 100% anonymous on which way to, on which science to go with, right? So you have to unanimously agree on all your findings. And then you vote on it. Anonymously. And that determines when a life is a fucking life. There mm-hmm. should be no government. The government is not a bunch of fucking doctors. You know what they are? Senile old men that are like, hey, we're going to raise your gas prices to over $5 a gallon so we can go fucking help the Ukrainians fight COVID or whatever the fuck they're doing over there. Yeah, this I mean, ridiculous. I mean, you're over there fighting Ukraine and fucking up the pussy all over here. <laughs> <laughs> They're I mean, saying, look, Bill Gates has been saying for years the world's overpopulated anyway. And now you want to make abortion illegal? Get the fuck out of here. It's ridiculous. See, I mean, for me, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't my law anyway. Yeah. That mean, was, I mean, why like, not my president yeah, shit? Yeah, not yeah, my yeah. laws, It wasn't bitch. my law anyway. I mean, you, you tell me how that fucking helped me. <laughs> shit, to be honest, almost worked against me. <laughs> Pops was like, Pops was like, you need to go get that Roe v. Way. <laughs> and mom was like, no. So I don't think... Now I'm really looking at it. I don't think Roe v. Wade, I think you should go ahead and strike the law. (laughs) I have not seen it work for me. Dude, it's bullshit. It's a state's rights thing anyway. I don't even understand why. Like, why? Literally, the government's like the dude who showed up after the job was done and was like, Yep, looks good, everybody. I approve, I mean, I approve I, this. Yeah, millions of years after the job was done. I mean, yeah. the, 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 the reproductive cycle is already in place. <laughs> yeah, right. I, 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 I approve I, I, this. And I'm saying this. I don't like the... I, I don't give a... Sh- I'm saying it straight up. I give no shits about the law. Yeah. You can do whatever you want with your pussy girl. 
Yeah, Shad. That's, oh, no. that's my uh, point. I, I, hey, I, hey, go get on the freeway arm ramp and air it out. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck you want to do. That's my I mean, point. I done seen some shit on Pornhub. You could do a lot of shit with that motherfucker. <laughs> there are some real good. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some shit on Pornhub. He's, I've seen some Roe v. Wade on there's, Pornhub. There's some. Uh, there's, <laughs> Looking at what you can fit in and out that motherfucker, goddamn. <laughs> so, hey, <laughs> what kind of porn are you watching? <laughs> you know, as, as you scroll down, there's always previews. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're out of control. No, but dude, it's fucking so stupid. Hey, hey, hey. I hope you don't like to play horse. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong noise. No, it's so dumb that fucking people. Want to want to just be like, oh, we need to make a law so we can repeal it years later. Fuck your laws, dude. Just, let, let just the, leave it. Yeah, just leave just, them just, alone. Just fucking, I, it's been working my whole fucking life. Why change it now? Leave our fucking just, bodies alone. You know what? You know what? Let's just have Dwight Schrute from the office fucking decide which laws we need. So you make Dwight from the office the grand decider? <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. That guy is so meticulous. Like I mean, He's played by Rain Wilson if you've never seen The Office. Dwight Schrute is one if of the best. If you've ever seen The Office, you even get the reference. Yeah. So you just turn off the camera now and make sure you donate. <laughs> <laughs> no, the guy, the guy Rain Wilson, this tremendous actor, Dwight Schrute is the fucking, the weirdest dude in the universe. And he has like three or four personas. He's got a new podcast out right now. Hey, you, do you listen to his podcast? I fucking love you don't, it. You don't listen to this one. No, this, this podcast sucks. Fuck this podcast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast. I'd like that stricken for the rec- from the record. I object. Hey, why are you wearing, you don't got his hat on. Hey, if you're watching on Patreon, he has a hype podcast hat on. The hype podcast. Anyway, so, I mean, go ahead and, go ahead and continue. So, to, no, okay. I mean, go ahead and just continue to, to suck this man's dick on the show. I just want to hear. His podcast is called Dark Air. I can barely hear you. There's a big dick in your mouth. And you got to, you have barely, to, I barely, highly recommend barely, that barely. you, Oh So Fresh, listen to it. Okay. Because... It's fucking hysterical. It's a fictional podcast about this dude who's a radio show host of like, you know, the paranormal yeah. proclivities. And people are trying to like off this motherfucker. And it's completely fictional. But people are trying to off him. And he's won several awards. He's got hundreds of listeners in the 3 to 5 a.m. time slot. It's fucking tremendous. That's real shit. Actually, that's, that's a real premise. What do you, I used to listen to a guy back yeah, in the I day. I just told you. It was no, real. no, like the shit is real. I used to listen to a guy back in the day called Art Bell. He used to be on from like midnight to six. Okay. Across the country. And you'd be listening like to Casey him. Kasem style. No, not like Casey Kasem. Like this this shit was No, I'm saying like Coast to Coast. It was like, Coast it was called Coast to Coast AM. That was the name of the fuck <laughs> show. So yeah, it was Coast to Coast. And this motherfucker, you'd be sitting there and you know. I guess it's not just because it was back in the day. No, I would be smoking weed. Listen, watch this. <laughs> and he'd be talking about shit like remote viewing. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you heard of remote viewing? Yeah, so yeah. if you're not familiar with remote, remote viewing, that's when you leave your body and just go wander the fucking earth. Your your celestial self. And when you, you about th- when you about three joints in, that's not like some real fucking shit that could do. <laughs> and when you're about three joints <laughs> in, you're probably doing I, some I, remote, viewing. remote viewing my fucking self. <laughs> and this motherfucker, like, he used to get you like he'd be like, they're coming to kill me. He'd be saying that on the radio. Like he he cut off his show in the fucking middle of the fucking show. <laughs> like they're coming to fucking kill me. <laughs> like serious shit. He used to sit in the middle of the night and I was kind of worried. Hey, am I somebody calling me? <laughs> Dude. Hey, my, my best friend James is calling me. I just want to see this uh Hey, James. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm doing my podcast. Somebody, you okay? Yeah, no, we good, man. Hit me up when you get done. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's that's cool. I thought you might have something awesome to say. All right, I'll hit you up later. All right, All right peace. Thanks for taking the call on your 007 watch, dickhead. Oh, We're yeah. in the middle of a fucking show. That's what it's like to be a pimp. You know, yeah. what, you know, you know what that really feels like? <laughs> and, no, you were, and you were worried about my asshole getting blown out? What are you doing? You're pimping dudes now? Was he bringing by a fucking wad of cash? No, for it's, you? it's it's a pimp because I'm I'm a pimp because I have a Dick Tracy looking watch. Because <laughs> when the style of your watch is named after a guy called Dick, then you are a pimp. <laughs> anyway, so this motherfucker, like you sitting there in the middle of the night listening to this goddamn show, and this motherfucker just like, yeah, they're coming to get me, and then he'd be gone, he'd be off for like a month or two. It's <laughs> just gone for like just a whole gone. fucking month. It's fucking gone. And this is back in the day. You wasn't sitting there. What what time of night are you are you listening to this? Like probably from twelve one a.m. Twelve one a.m. Like <laughs> high off your ass. Yeah. Like, like, are you are you riding around or are no, you like uh, you're usually, in one place? You, 
you see, I might be riding back into Sacramento because this one was working in DMV. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Remember me, the DMV worker. Yeah. This. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you know why people hate you want to know why people hate people at DMV because of people like me because I'm an <laughs> asshole. Anyway, go to the back of the line. <laughs> you did not sign the form. Go to the back of the fucking line. And you know what they teach you at DMV? To take your lunch when you have a full, full fucking line. Oh Jesus! Oh, Christ. they do. They do. You have to learn how to. You have to learn. How to stare people down while they're looking at you while you're leaving. And the, the line is out the motherfucking door. But they're like, you need to take your goddamn lunch right now. Why wouldn't you just sit there and eat your lunch? And just like stare at them as you're eating. Just awkward eye contact. Well, number, number one, when you were working at McDonald's, they didn't let you eat your fucking Big Mac at the counter. Because and then, you're serving food. <laughs> Everybody knows the difference between the DMV and serving food. And you know what? It wouldn't be cool because somebody would be walking up and be like, can I get a french fry? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you going to eat the rest of that You know what's pack? worse? A, b- b- worse than getting up, having to look a motherfucker dead in his face and know you're not going to give him any fucking service. I mean that in the, uh, 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 you in know, the most hetero way. In the yeah. most hetero way. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, motherfuckers be lined out the door and you just have to pick up your shit. You pick up your cash drawer. You pick up your shit and you just head off to fucking lunch. <laughs> fucking fuck you. <laughs> If you old enough to remember, that's how DMV used to be. You sit there for fucking hours, <laughs> and no wonder you drove home late at night, high off your ass. So I be <laughs> driving home late at night because no, I, I I really couldn't deal with the job, and I was just <laughs> driving home late at night. I'd be listening to this motherfucker, and yeah, he would disappear for a month or two, and you'd be like, "What the fuck is going on?" And then he pop back up. My family's in danger because of some shit. Do you ever get like awkwardly paranoid? Like, like I'm listening to this guy. Somebody's listening to me to listen to this. Well, guy. the whole thing. Increase my paranoia. Because <laughs> he's talking about ghosts, the paranormal, yeah, shit yeah. like that. And you know, I'll be sitting in there and like, well, shit. I mean, maybe there is a ghost in here. Well, dude. Have you ever dealt with a ghost? Dude, I have fucking dealt with some weird shit. You dealt with a ghost? Yes. Yes, fuck yes. Like a friendly ghost? No, not like Casper. I, I mean, I want like a ghost ghost. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. You, know, you know, like uh, like we can reverse that Demi Moore thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like a ghost, ghost. So, oh a, my darling, as you've all heard me mention before, I used to drive around the country and Canada all the time, all hours of the night. I was on twenty four seven for five years, right? You're pretty Canadian, like, like a fucking rock star, but you know, not as much money and not as much pussy. Canadians aren't rock stars. I said, and Canada. I didn't say I'm fucking Canadian. Listen to the story. You're not even listening to the story. I'm just saying, if you're watching the show, Canadians are not rock stars. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to Celine Dion, fucking asshole. <laughs> my, heart, my heart will go on. <laughs> Zing. No, so <clears throat> I used to drive around at all hours of the night. Now, I had been on for a little over 40 hours at this point. Lot lizards. Yeah, <laughs> lot, lot lizards. lizards. So <laughs> I'd been on for about 40 hours at this point. I remember going from like Denver down to Arizona, and then I had to go back up to Vegas and then through like to Salt Lake City. And so I'm going through northern Arizona, and there's a little mountain range right there when you come in from the southern side going into Vegas. And as I'm going up, it's like 2 or 3 in the morning. Now, I'm already tired. Okay. I'm watching Unsolved Mysteries on and, my fucking and, and tablet. I have, to, I have to stop you again. This motherfucker watches a lot of TV while he's driving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I don't fucking drive. At least I don't text and drive like an asshole. So this motherfucker, I've seen him go through a half a season of Sopranos while we were just driving around. <laughs> That's not true. I have never seen Sopranos, not even a single episode. It was House MD. So now that makes you lame. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't be jealous. That show's dope. House is not dope. It is dope. House as fuck. is not dope. If you like House, Jesus stop watching Christ. the fucking show. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. No, go, <laughs> go ahead. Go fuck yourself. Go, go, go. So, I would if you'd hurry up and finish the show. <laughs> Shit. It's been a long day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just how I want to go. <laughs> yeah, do you, you want me to cut the show short so nah, you can fuck, walk, go handle I, your business? I walk in and tell the bitch. <laughs> That's called foreplay. So there, <laughs> so there I was. I'm driving up this hill. And I'm coming over the crest of this little hill. And there's no, no lights in front of me, no lights behind me. And <clears throat> right as I come down the other side, it flattens out. And so I'm looking at a mountain range in the dark. You know how it's dark? You can see like the silhouette. And so... I saw like a postcard? I see a fucking... I don't go nowhere. So like a postcard? No. Okay. No, you know what I'm talking. Like You've driven post- around in the dark, you like, fucking lunatic. Like a postcard. Listen to my goddamn story. So I'm driving and all of a sudden I see what looks like an animal. 
in the opposite lane, right? You know, it's super dark. You can see quite a ways off. I can't make out what it is. And I'm doing like 45, 50 miles an hour. So I start to slow down because when there's a, a particular amount of movement in the fucking road, you notice at 3 a.m. and you slow the fuck down. That's what you do. Yeah. So I'm driving slow. Like this thing kind of disappears off to the side of the road a little bit. And then as I get closer, it veers back in to the opposite lane of oncoming traffic on this two lane highway. And I slow down even more. So I'm doing like 20, 25 miles an hour. How far away from this thing are you when you notice it? Because the story. Like a half mile. You're like a half mile. Like a half mile. Yeah. Wow, are you Superman? What do you mean? You, see a half you can't mile? see a fucking ha- You can't see something moving a half mile away? A half mile in the what dark. You, a cataract? A half mile in the dark. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And that's why you, that's why I couldn't make it out. Like you can see a dog from like a half mile away in the dark. Okay. You just see something moving, right? I see something moving. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm killing I sl- whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I dude, I wish I would have fucking ran this thing over and like threw it in the van, but I probably would have like been soldered off to an alternate dimension. So yeah, yeah, it's fucked up. So I'm doing like 20, 25 miles an hour, and as I come up, I realize this is a fucking person. Walking, oh, shit. walking down the oh, oncoming shit. lane of traffic, right? And I'm like, what the fuck? And so <laughs> I immediately, I am like, I put fucking, un- I threw Unsolved Mysteries off the dash. I'm like, am I seeing this shit? And given, I've been, I've been awake. So it wasn't like E.T. or nothing? No, 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 no. I, it was a fucking woman. It was a woman? It was a woman in a robe and slippers. And so I'm sitting there. Because, ladies, I just got to tell you something. If I'm going to find you out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> on a road, a robe and slippers are not going to fucking do. Because <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> that, so, means, that means you actually have mental problems. But if you look like you look like your girlfriend just kicked you out the car for being a jerk asshole, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> if you're holding the heels in one hand, yeah. holding your pants up with the other, oh, so fresh might give you a ride to it. There you go. So... By the time I realize this and like whip my tablet off the dash, so I, there's no. Oh, other- you're watching this on a tablet. Oh, not fuck on yeah. a phone. No, 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 no. Fuck that. On a full blown tablet. got a 72 tablet. inch up in the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. in the fucking window. A car. tablet, bitch. That's a 72 inch where you're trying to drive. <laughs> so I get, I'm like slow way down. Because at first, I'm like, this is a person walking down the middle of a fucking desert road. And then it hit me all at once. It's like, nah, motherfucker, I watch true crime. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, sir. And so. As I'm going by, I hear her mumbling something. And then as she gets... At 25 miles per hour, you heard somebody mumbling something. Oh, yeah. yeah, That was a ghost. Yeah. And so you fucking... Like, right as as she gets to my driver's side window, like, she turns. She waited. Like, she didn't try and make eye contact until she hit my driver's side window. And then I was like, I was like, uh, uh-uh. I just kept driving. And I was like smacking myself like, okay, you're just tired. You were just watching Unsolved Mysteries. It's all good. That was nothing that uh-uh. fucking happened. And so I'm getting down the road. I get about what I what I feel like to be a mile or so away. I start seeing headlights coming over the over this hill. Yeah. And it's three cars in a line. They're just right on each other. And I'm like, okay, here's what's going to solidify it right here. These guys are just going to mosey on, going to keep going, no problem. If I don't see any brake lights, I was hallucinating. Totally fine. I get like the third car. Gets to where my side mirror, where you can see both brake lights in the fucking the side fuck mirror. Is this like Grease? Dude, just fucking listen. I mean, is this like Dukes of Hazard or Grease? So I, this third car gets next to me or get like gets by me and I'm looking in my side mirror. And all of a sudden, the last car closest to me fucking slams on its brakes, dude. And I, I like rolled down my window, looked out the window. All three cars were at like a dead stop in the middle of the road. I was like, nope, I fucking smashed the gas, bro, as hard as I could and got the fuck out of there. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not sleeping tonight. Good. You just can't fucking rock me to sleep. Now, here's huh. the, here's the kicker. Oh, that was the kicker. Here's the kicker. I mean, I'm wait, telling, I'm telling dead, my buddy. We have a dead woman in a robe and then we have. I'm telling my fucking buddy about we this. We got the fucking Fast and Furious going on with fucking exactly. ghosts right now. Yeah, yeah. Vin, Vin Diesel was there the whole night. So oh, hey, Sorry, it was Paul Walker. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's no longer with us. He stopped to pick the bitch up. So wow. I'm talking to my buddy wow. about this. Was he still this. alive when this happened? <laughs> damn, fuck off. So I'm talking to my buddy about this and he's. Full blooded Mexican. Okay. And the, Mex- <laughs> the Mexican folktale. Oh, okay. Is called La Llorona. And it's a woman who feigns distress. So men will pick her up in the middle of the night. And then you vanish, like never to be seen again. She's a fucking demon. 
that she like kidnaps and kills men and eats them. Oh, so it's a real fucking Mexican you know, folk tale. You know, I was really trying to. In, yeah. the, in the story on a high yeah. note, yeah, you were. I, I was Go really trying to. Yourself. I, was, I, was trying I almost to, I, got eaten by a demon. I was trying to end the episode on a high <laughs> note, but I guess I'll just go there. <laughs> you were hoping I got some demon pussy, weren't you? You were hoping I was. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, yeah. I was, uh, hoping, yeah. I was hoping you picked the bitch up. I mean, you got some demons. <laughs> yeah, did you get her name? That's, that's a did lot. You get a number? <laughs> that's a lot happening. That's a whole other ball game. <laughs> what demon pussy? Have you ever had demon pussy? No, no. <laughs> Not that he's no. willing to admit. Look no, at that no, face. No, no, That's no, a no. guilty face. No, I, mean, I, I, I really, I mean, I've met women I thought were demons. <laughs> <laughs> Did they give it up? <laughs> I guess I have. <laughs> I guess I have. I guess we discovered something new. If you have a creepy demon pussy story, hit us up 503-776-0167 or send us a message on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast. And if you want to, you know, maybe see... Also get some demon pussy. He, he might start hold an OnlyFans. Hold on, hold on. He it's might like, start an OnlyFans. Like, oh my god! You never know. Or maybe a whole nother radio show. Who knows? You know what I have to say for the podcast after the podcast that the mention of demon and pussy in the same sentence really just doesn't like click together. You know, I, I've I said a lot of shit on this show that I would find funny in a way, but that is not okay because for me, I was going to relate one of my hitchhiking stories. Where I stopped because I thought I, I really thought I, I really thought I'd hit the jackpot. You know, you sit there, you watch the Dukes of Hazard. Daisy Duke is always hitchhiking. Just, you know, there's going to be some work in the goddamn situation. I stopped. Yeah. Open up the car door. She jumps in. She smells like four days worth of fucking ass. And two more dudes jump out the back of the two more dudes jump out the bushes. So there is nothing. In this life that is free So if you want some stanky Four day old pussy Then you gotta give two dudes a ride This is the Hype Podcast Fuck it We'll do it live <laughs> you want some stanky You gotta give two dudes a ride Oh my god <laughs> No homo <laughs>